Hi everyone, my name is Vinit Kusaraju and today I'll be demoing the new 3D game for Eterna. More specifically, I'll be demonstrating how to solve this tutorial puzzle. To get started, let's load the URL vinit.eternadev.org slash web slash eterna3 slash puzz1 slash and once you load that URL, you will either see a message that says you are missing WebGL or you will see this puzzle goals message. If it says you are missing WebGL, then click on the link and then follow the instructions to see how you can get WebGL. If you cannot get WebGL, then this game will not work at all for you. If you do have WebGL, then you can just read the message and click dismiss. From here, you can see the full 3D interface. In the middle part of the screen, we have our puzzle RNA. The goal of the game is to connect the two flashing parts together using the motifs on the sidebar on the left. When solving any puzzle, there are two design guidelines we should keep in mind. The first is that the design should be less than, 50, less than 90 nucleotides long. If it is greater, we can still synthesize in the lab, but it might take longer. The second is that the length of the helices should be greater than the length of the motifs. This will make the structure more stable. There are various controls you can use to modify how the structure is displayed. First, you can zoom in and out by scrolling your mouse. You can also pan by dragging the mouse. There are additional controls on the sidebar to the bottom right. There are two buttons for zooming in and zooming out. You can also change the display type from showing only atoms to showing only bonds to showing both. There is also an option to change the color display from based on atom type, such as oxygen or carbon, to based on molecule type, such as guanine or cytosine. There is a button to remove the last motif you just added. If you click it and there are no motifs, then it will just give you a warning. You can also toggle the pink backbone that shows the overall structure. This backbone is enabled by default. There is a submit button as well for when you are done with the puzzle. If you try submitting a without a solved puzzle, then you will get an error message. Also, you cannot submit puzzle designs for this tutorial puzzle. There are also arrow keys to rotate and move around the screen. To find more information about the actual molecules, you can either single click or double click on them. Single clicking will bring up information about the atom and selection details box, and double clicking will bring up information about the entire molecule in the selection details box. To add motifs, just hover over the motif you would like to add in the sidebar to the left and click the plus button. There are hundreds of motifs, so you can scroll down the list. You can also search in the search box if you are looking for a specific one. So let's get started solving this tutorial. For the most part, the space between the flashing molecules is linear, so let's add a helix. Now that the helix is added, search for 1GID in the search box, and let's add 2 junction 1GID 5. Since we're pretty close to the final solution, let's add another helix, and that should finish us off. If you add all these motifs, you will see that you have completed the puzzle. You can move on to the tetra loop receptor puzzle or the FMN puzzle uh, after this. When you have finished either the FMN puzzle or the tetra loop receptor puzzle, you will get this message and you can see the finished secondary structure and sequence on the bottom of the screen. To submit for synthesis, click Submit, dismiss the warning, if any, enter the username, and then click Submit. Thank you for watching this demo, and I really hope you enjoy playing the 3D game.